Hello there, everybody. This is pre-algebra. And your ordering information. Let me get my laser up here. There's my laser. Here's your ordering. Email me for PowerPoints, videos, full courses, pre-algebra, 70 lessons, quizzes, tests, worksheets. It's all there. Just email me. 13.1 angle relationships here. This is kind of like a, uh, a uh, preview for geometry. So here are our standards here. We have 9 through 12 standards, geometry. Here's the bell work for students. Students, jump on this as you walk in your classroom. And classify the angle. Cute, right, obtuse, or straight. And then a map, blah, blah, blah. You use scale here. Here's a map distance to find the actual distance here. Uh, represented by 2.5 inches. And here's an answer. I throw an answer in. This is what uh, answer PowerPoints will do. They'll do all of the uh, independent practices and the homework. And then here is the answer for number two. So this is a preview of what you get for using a um, an answer PowerPoint. I provide an full answers for uh, the test, quizzes, and for homework. So that's a preview of that. Classwork angle relationships. You've classified angles and triangles. You'll classify special pairs of angles so you can find a height of a sculpture. Two angles are complementary angles if the sum of their measure is 90. So comps are 90 degree angles and sups are, guess what? They're 180 degree angles or supplementary angles. This is classwork. This is on your class worksheet. If you order course suites, you'll get all the worksheets. Complementary angles. Here's an example here of two complementary angles here. Here is a right angle. Angle one and then angle two, you have your measures there. And they all add up to 90 degrees. Adjacent angles to form a right angle or complementary angles. Adjacent angles that form a straight angle are supplementary angles. So the diagram at right, BEC and angle CED are complementaries. So we have CED and then BEC. CED and BEC, they form this right angle here. And then AEC and CED, AEC. And then C, E, D, they form this straight angle here, which is a supplementary angle. 180 degree angle here is a supplementary. <clears throat> and then now some vocab. Students, this is your chance to put that into your own words. This is get your writing skills going and getting your vocabulary going for your math. Complementaries and supplementaries. And a vertical angle. <clears throat> so example one here, identifying complementary and supplementaries. So in quadrato ABCD, identify all pairs of complementaries and supplementary angles. So because angle A plus angle D, the measure of angle A, measure of angle A, and the measure of angle D equals 60 right here. Then we have 60 plus 30 equals 90. <clears throat> angle A, angle A, and then angle D is over here. Angle A and angle D are called what? 
complementary angles because <clears throat> they add up to 90 here. Because angle A plus angle B equals 60 plus 120, then angle A and B, angle A and then angle B are, guess what? They're supplementary angles because they add up to 180. Because angle C plus angle D equals 150, angle C plus angle D equals 180, angle C and angle D are supplementary angles. Now we get a guided practice here. <clears throat> Tell whether an angles are complementary or supplementary or neither. So angle five and angle six. And down here, students, this is your independent practice. <clears throat> <clears throat> They're supplementary because they add up to 180. 95 and 85 is 180. They're supplementary angles. Do I answer that one? Oh, you students, you have to do your independent practice on your own, independently. Example two, stage monitors. So a stage... So uh, a stage monitor is showing angle one and angle two. Here's your angle one. Here's your angle two. Angle one equals 35. So the stage monitors are complementary angles. Find a measure of angle two. So we know the measure of angle 35. Of angle one is 35 degrees. So Angle 1 plus angle 2 equals 90. Definition of a complementary is a 90 degree angle. So, <clears throat> we just uh, solve a simple equation here. And we have angle 2 equals 55 degrees. So, angle 2 is 55 degrees. Find a measure of angle 2. So, we use the same method here for a guided practice here. Measure of angle one equals 45. What's the, what's the measure of angle two? <clears throat> and then here, students, your independent practice. Measure of angle one is 35. Measure of angle three is 110 here. What is the measure of angle five? So you have to do some maneuvering here. So up here, we know it equals 90. We know measure of angle 1, so angle 2 is 45. <clears throat> Vertical angles. When two angles, when two lines intersect at one point, the angles are opposite each other. The amb angles opposite each other are vertical angles. Vertical angles have the same measure as you will see in exercise 31. Vertical angles, angle 1 and 3, so angle 1 and angle 3 are vertical angles. Angle 2 and angle 4 are vertical angles. <clears throat> Far the television tray shall measure 1 equals 110. Find angle 2, measure of angle 2, 3, and 4. So measure of angle 1 plus angle 2 equals 180. Num angle 1 and angle 2 are supplementary because this is a 180 degree angle here. We know angle 1. What's angle 2? So we set up our equation here to find angle measure of angle 2 and we find measure of angle 2 is 70 so this is a 70 degree angle and then measure of angle 3 and angle 1 we can figure that out as well measure of angle 3 is 110 So angle measure 4 equals angle measure 2 because they're vertical angles. Measure 2 and 4 are vertical angles. 
A measure of angle 4 is 70 degrees, because we know that's what angle 2 is. Okay, guided practice here. Measure angle 1 and 2 are supplementaries. Angle 1 equals 118. Fine. Measure of angle 2. And down here for independent practice, students do that yourself. Here's your uh, equation here for finding what uh, angle 1 and angle 2 are. We know angle 1 is 118, so angle 2 is 62 degrees. Now we go into our homework for 13.1. And this is a good homework set here. Comp subs or neither. Use the information to find angle two. We know the measure of angle one. Just set up an equation for that. And then this goes back to that one example in the lesson here. Tell how angle one and angle two are related. You know that. Then find a measure of angle two. We we know this here. So, whoop! Don't want to give nothing away. I'll let you do that on your own students use the diagram here to find the comps and the supplementary angles tell whether the angles are complementary or supplementary or neither and then tell whether the angles are the same comp subs or neither then find a measure of angle one here angle one angle one Then we get into a little word problem here about four corners area of, of the country. So you have this information here. And you have this information here to solve this problem here. Use the given information to find measure of angle two. Their vertical angles, supplementaries, and then complementaries. And then a, a word problem here. So we know this much here. Two structures of Puerto de Europa in Madrid, Spain, lean toward each other at, at a 15 degree from vertical. So this is vertical angle here, which tells you what? I don't want to get the problem away in the diagram one, blah, blah, blah. Angle one and two, are they complementary or supplementary? Then use your answer to to uh, part A to find a measure of angle 2. So there's your homework. Ordinary information, you get a solution PowerPoint for this through that email address. And thank you.